the global prices for commodity coffee, standard coffee, are and, and pretty much always have been extremely low, at least in recent history. So it, it's by concentrating on this specialty coffee market sector that opportunity is created for growers. And Panama is doing this and reimagining coffee by really delving into um, different varieties, varietals, farming practice, processing innovation, the way, the way everything is done at every stage. Notions that are typically associated more with winemaking, for example, they're bringing that level of involvement to coffee. And they're not alone. Others are, are doing this around the world also. But Panama was one of the first coffee band, coffee producing belt countries to do this. And that takes coffee flavor and experience to a completely different level. And it makes it so much more interesting and delicious. It's excellent. It's excellent. And that's, that's because of the place also. I mean, the people have, have the people in the process in this pursuit of knowledge, that's taken everything to another level. But Panama has a special place for growing coffee just by virtue of its geographic position in the world. It's volcanic soil, these unusual microclimates, you know, I mean, it's even our, our not so specialty coffee is, is pretty special. It's true. Well, it's concentrated in the highlands of Chiriqui, and um, it's some of the most beautiful terrain we have in the country, I would say. Um, the surrounding mountains are gorgeous. The weather's a lot cooler than it is in the rest of the country. And the constant bajareque, the, the mist that sort of surrounds the area because of this unusual microclimate, it keeps everything sort of magically fresh and ensures a bounty of rainbows pretty much throughout the year. It's gorgeous. It's definitely worth a visit for the sheer beauty of it. And then, of course, um, it's this special soil, this terroir, again, much like wine, um, that happens to be particularly excellent for growing coffee.